Hi, I'm John McEnany. I'm here today to give you some of my 20 plus years experience on washing and detailing your motorcycle. This will help your motorcycle maintain its pristine looks for years to come. The washing process consists of rinsing, surface preparation, washing, and drying your motorcycle. First step, fresh water supply and good drainage. Step, surface preparation. I like to prepare the surface of the wheel and the tire with the wheel and tire cleaner. It's very efficient on getting rid of brake dust caused by the brake pad material, road grime, and dirt. It's safe for use on the rubber, chrome, and painted. I use sun wash concentrate and I use two separate buckets. One bucket is for undercarriage, which is going to be dirtier, will have some debris, and I use another one for the body surfaces itself. Give it a good squirt. I use separate cleaning material for each area. For the undercarriage, because it is going to be grimier, I use a Harley Davidson detail sponge and spoke cleaner. For the body work and chrome, I use the Harley Davidson wash mitt. goes down. Road grime, you can consider it to be a form of uh, abrasive. And that abrasive, when you're moving it back and forth, is going to leave plenty of scratches. Microscopic, maybe, or fine, but they are still scratches. Compromises the surface appearance. And over time, the contribution of all those microscopic scratches, fine scratches, destroys the look of uh, the body work itself.
opportunity to go ahead and examine all the areas with your eyes and with your fingers. So you're touching, you're understanding your motorcycle. You're able to better, better uh, catch anything that is going wrong when you're touching it. Paint. When I refer to wrinkle black paint, I mean the textured powder coating that we apply to our engines, transmissions, and inner primaries. Also, don't use the HD detail sponge's abrasive side on aluminum or chrome surfaces, as this will scratch the finish.
With it, however, don't reuse it. we're going to begin the drying process. I use two manual drying items. One is a quick drying towel brush for between the cylinder fins and the head fins. And the other is a soft drying towel, known as a chamois cloth. In order for the chamois cloth to work correctly, it has to be damp and then wrung out. At a certain point, there's water that is trapped because the bike has a lean over on the left-hand side. I like to straighten the bike up before I begin too much more detailed drying to let the water run off to the right side of the bike. Usually give it a quick shake. want to dry this bike fairly quickly, any water that's left on here could do some water spotting depending on how hard and how mineral filled your rinse water is. I use my quick drying brush to get between the fins of either the head or the cylinder area. It's too tight to get in there with my regular chamois cloth. Again, natural wood handle and protected rubber stem prevent any scratching. This gets the excess water out, and if I need to dry it, I just squeeze it out like that. The fastest and most effective way to dry your motorcycle is with the Harley-Davidson's Hog Blaster. 
It blows clean, dry air on your bike to quickly dissipate any liquid left after the rinse process. Comes with three different ends. I'm going to plug it in now and demonstrate its use. We've cleaned six areas on the motorcycle. The bodywork, the aluminum, the chrome, the steel frame, and engine surfaces, tires and wheels. Out of the process, we've already completed rinsing, surface preparation, washing, rinsing again, and drying. Next up, detailing. We're gonna go back to the workshop for that. Stay tuned.